Joselito asks about my recommended CRM solution. CRM, for those of you who don't know, is a shortcut for Client Relationship Management Database. It's basically fancy word for how do you know, how do you know, when, how do you keep track of the fact that you should reach back out to that person to ask them how they're doing with, you know, the service that you provided for them? Or how do you remember to keep up with certain prospective clients? What's your system for that? You know, so uh, the most simplest thing I wanted to, I, and by the way, those of you who want to dive deeply into the CRM and keeping track, I, I do have all my solutions in, uh, I, I've created two solutions. Uh, one is a, a very simple document and one is a spreadsheet solution. And that's in my net caring course. Um, so you want to check that out. That's, I think the cost of the course is, it pays for itself by the, by the tools that I've developed for you. But I, I, I want to keep it real simple in, in this video. And I'll just say, most, Joselito mentioned, most CRM systems are too complicated because they, it's like once you start building a system, you start saying, whoa, Oh, what if we let them do this too? Oh, what if we allow them to do that? And then users, software users start getting feature requests and the thing gets bloated and more bloated. And the someone who is just getting started, I'm like, it's too many bells and whistles. I'm, I'm confused, complicated. This is how software ends up being. That's why I create my own systems because I'm like, I can know how much bloat I want. And usually my CRM, even my spreadsheet CRM system is bloated too. You, you'll see the course like, oh, that's too much. Because I started adding columns. I'm like, now practical in practical use this is i'll tell you what you really need okay you simply I'll, I'll tell you the simplest thing you simply need a list of names okay the simplest crm system in the world is a list of names most people don't even have that most people most people don't they where do they get their list of names okay they go to their facebook friends they go to their email or their email in, in uh, address book or whatever but it's a very unorganized list of names. What you need is a list of names of people you want to keep in touch with regularly. <laughs> that is essentially the simplest CRM system, a, list, a Google Doc, Google document. Start a Google Doc today and just numbers, okay, bullet points, whatever you want. It's just typed out names. Oh, I want to keep in touch with that person, that person, that person. And yes, you may need to look at your Facebook friends, LinkedIn contacts, your email address book, your email sent box, your Instagram followers, whatever, wherever you have names that you can, you know, people who are interested in you, or you want to keep in touch with, put out a list of names. Like if you just did that, you would be more organized with your CRM than most people who don't even have one because they're, or, they're overwhelmed with CRM systems. If you have, simply have a list of names and you simply once a week, you came back to the list of names and you look down the names and see what your intuition leads you towards. Oh, I want to con somehow I, I have a gut sense. I want to contact Joselito this week. Yeah, go with your gut for whatever reason. Maybe it's been a while or maybe you just contacted. Maybe I just emailed Joselito three days ago, but I just want to check in with him. You see what I mean, right? <laughs> That's like the intuitive guy, intuitive, the, the um, intuitive person's guide to CRM, right? That's what I'll title this course or title this uh, video. That's it. Like you just, intuition will lead you. Oh, I haven't contacted Jennifer in a while. It could be that. It's like, let me, let me just that. It's been like what, a year probably. And then, and then when, you, when, you see, when I see Jennifer's name, what I then do is I go to my email and I search her name, her full name to see when the last message was. And, and this is my recommendation. Try your best to always use, let's say email or one method of contacting everyone on your CRM. So that way we can always go back to that one method and search, whether it's Facebook messages, you can search your Facebook messages for that person's name or email or Instagram DMs or whatever. just one method. Now you can use additional method. Let, let's say I email, you know, Joselito and I don't hear back after a few days or after a week, I could Facebook message Joselito. Hey, Joselito, just wanna make sure you saw my email. You see, I point that person back towards my main contact method. So we can have the conversation there instead, if, if possible. Now, if not possible, right, I could simply put, if Joselito just wants to do Instagram with me, Instagram direct messages, I could put a parentheses next to Joselito's name, IG. You see how simple this is? So next time I'm like, oh yeah, contact Joselito. It says IG. That means I'm going to search an IG for my, my conversation with him or his preferred way of con con contact. You see? So simplest way. Now, a, an additional level of, complexity that'll make it even better for you 
is to now you've got a list of names. Now you simply put the names in the categories. That's it. So you have prospective clients in a category. Cut, cut and paste those names into that category. You've got past clients to connect with. But you've got colleagues for collaborate, potential collaborators. Put that. You see, now you can, it's like now you go, okay, right now I'm doing some net caring. I've got half hour to do this. Do I want to net care with potential clients or with colleagues? Let's do colleagues right now. Well, th guess what? I go to my list of names. I look at the colleagues section. I, which one intuitively am I led towards? Simplest thing. So if you just did that, now I'm gonna give you one mother, <laughs> one more, one more uh, level of complexity, which will make this uh, better. We're not quite at a spreadsheet yet, okay? <laughs> but this is just one one final layer of complexity. Is once you have contacted somebody cut and paste their name to the bottom of that category. That's it. And you could even put a date next to their name, you know, last contact, blah, blah. That's it. That's it. We, we don't even need a spreadsheet. We just need a document, list of names and categories. And when you contact someone, you just cut and paste them to the bottom of the list. So the next time you're looking down the list, you at least start with the oldest ones first. So you can, you know, so... I hope this helps. This is really, I, I think, uh, you know, again, more than what most people are doing. And it's just most people did it this way. It'd be much more practical and we would get a lot more net caring in there in the world. So thanks for asking. <laughs>